I do got to say, 6.30 in the morning is the best time to uh, eat blackberries. Holy, look at them all this year. It's friggin' loaded. Loaded, I tell you, loaded. Whoa, look at that. Yes. So it is, I think, quarter after six in the morning. I haven't slept. Um, last week was a tough week for me. With my injury, I know I repeat it, I repeat it, but with my head injury, I go through these times where things I just got to kind of, I just got to take it easy and figure out what the hell's going on. Then once I get down to that bottom point, I got to say that's enough. I've had enough of this bullshit. And that's why I'm here carving today. <laughs> so I want to start this video off by giving a, a good friend of mine a shout out. He's got a YouTube channel. He's been doing it for a few years now. He's local. Well, he's about, about, probably about uh, 40, half an, half an hour drive away from me. His name's Frank. Hi, Frank. Jordy's giving you a shout out. He's Frank the jeweler. He's a he's a jeweler. So his story is he's uh well he's probably a well he is a world famous jeweler. He does lots of jewelry for people around the world. Um he had a shop. I got some stuff made from him back in the day. And but then him and his wife bought a farm. So now he's doing like a YouTube. He's he he closed his shop in town. And now his shop's in his property, and he's just living the life. You know, he's living the dream. He's worked hard all his life. He's got that property now, so he's got horses there. He's got uh, chickens. I don't know if he has any goats yet. Have I seen goats there? He's got a bunch of dogs. He's, they uh, uh, rescued some dogs. So I don't know if you guys noticed, but I'm wearing this big bling-bling thing. It's my old uh, roofing chain. And Frank made this for me uh, years back when I had my roofing company. Let me uh, pull it off my neck here, and I'll show you guys. But you see here? I'll just show you guys. So this is white gold, 10 carat. It's got a bunch of diamonds in it, and this is top dog for top dog roofing. So Frank made that for me back in the days. And when I went to Thailand, I had some uh, local friends then they gifted me this uh, piece of ivory because a baby elephant passed away from sickness when I was there. And they gifted me this piece of ivory for good luck to bring home with me. Actually surprised I got that across the border, but I did. So I don't know if Frank's going to remember, but we talked about doing a collab when he first started his channel because I don't wear this anymore. I don't, I don't need this big bling bling thing. Well, it's not that bling bling, but see all the diamonds in there? I got those diamonds when I was in Thailand too. They weren't cheap diamonds. They're not really sparkling right now because the sun's not out or shining or whatever you say. But um, I would love to get this gold melted and these diamonds taken out of here and get a wood spirit made in here. Because Frank can do all that. He's got all the waxing machines and um, that's what his YouTube channel is about, his uh, jewelry making but he also mix it up with um his farming stuff in his life so i thought it was time to give him a shout out he's doing good he's already got like 30 something thousand subscribers he only car car started a couple years ago so i want to talk i want to go out to frank's well and another thing too frank has uh he watches some of my videos and he seen one of the video where I was bitching about my air compressor and then I got another air compressor. It didn't work. Then my new air compressor I got here is just too friggin' loud. Well, last time I saw Frank, he says, George, you just got to come over to my house. I got an air compressor there for you. You can have it. And I says, yeah, I want to come over to your house. This is kind of funny. But I'm like, but, and this is kind of a Jordy does video, everybody. I says, but dogs don't like me and I can't get bit by dogs. He's got like, I think he's got a couple pit bulls and a Rottweiler. He's like, whoa. And then we had another friend sitting there. He goes, well, just get him to put the dogs away. 
if the horses are out, the dogs have to go away. And I kind of felt like a wimp for saying it, but I forgot to say I got skin grafts from my knees to my ankles on both my legs. So, because I got burnt really bad. So if I got bit by a dog in my legs, it would be a super big problem. So I always got that sense of fear. So, but anyways, he said he's got a compressor for me. And I was supposed to go to his house this week. But because the way I was feeling, I'm sorry I didn't call you Frank or message you, but the way I was feeling, I just been feeling down. I'm gonna try and snap out of it. Not down, just I don't know. I don't know what happens. It's a mental thing, man. I it's, I can't explain it, but whatever. I don't. I probably don't need to explain it. So I'm gonna hopefully next week I'll go out there and um, I'm gonna do a carving at Frank's house for him. Got some old telephone poles or something. He, when I first started carving. He knew that I was kind of intimidated by art. He says, oh, yeah, I got this. I got these telephone poles. I, I want you to carve a little fox chasing a squirrel up at the tree. No, I got this little fox chasing a squirrel up at the tree. And on top of the tree, I want a big eagle. I was like, whoa. I, I can barely even carve a freaking stick, man. So anyways, I'll get out there hopefully next week and do uh, carving uh at frank's i don't know if he'll be filming or i'll be filming but probably sure one of us will um so i'm gonna leave a description to his youtube channel i'm gonna leave a link to his youtube channel in the description below and go over there and give him subscribe we all gotta help each other out and um yeah it's a good channel lots of farm activities got tractors and things and motorbikes and harleys and old trucks and yeah he's got a pretty cool place out there i gotta go see it so but once again i'll say i'll be out there probably hopefully let's hope next week if that's okay with you if it works with you so this piece of wood here was there anything that i forgot to say i forget to say shit all the time if i forget to say it all his youtube channel's frank the jeweler if you want to go look, look him up right now but anyways i don't think i forgot to say anything This is an old piece of western red cedar. It's not very good. I kind of swore earlier because it has this big crack down here, but I don't think that crack goes to. Well, it does. What I want to do today is, well, it's Jordy does. I got a few things. Oh, another thing, too. For the See that spirit guy over there for the spirit trails? I don't know if you guys can see it in camera. The rock, when I was trying to carve that lady's face, but it turned out to be that weird thing for kids to put painted rocks on. Like, I asked you guys to name a name for it. Well, I got a winner of the name. I got the sign carved. I just got to finish sanding it and screw it to it. So I'll announce the winner today because I'll have to look it up. So then the winner, I will just say, just, uh, I'm going to send you a wood spirit wherever, like a Dremel carved wood spirit wherever you are. Maybe one of those ones that I've been working on the last couple days. So that will be later today. This chair, my neighbor, he's, the super good guy. I see, like at two o'clock in the afternoon when I left to carve the chair, he's like, "Where are you going, buddy?" I says, "Oh, I'm gonna go carve a Viking chair." He's like, "Oh, cool. Right on. Have fun." His wife, "Have fun, Jordy." Anyways, I came back two hours later, showed him a picture of the chair. He's like, "Well, that's a cool chair, but can I say something to you, Jordy?" And I says, "What's that?" He goes, "You know, he goes, you know, I love your art, and I know how sensitive is you are." with it and all that stuff and i says yeah go on man i spent an hour carving this thing i don't care what do you got to say about it he goes well the moon kind of looks like a banana <laughs> i just looked at him i kind of gave him a mead mug for a second he's like no no i didn't mean it like that and i says well you just said my moon looked like banana he's like well look at it it kind of does doesn't it and i says yeah it looks like a banana moon for sure i don't care so what I'll do today, and I sprayed that with uh, clear coat too, and I don't like the way it turned out. But so if I get time, I'll fix that banana moon into something else. And um, so what I want to do with this piece here, it's, uh, you guys can see how wide it is right here, but it's cracked. There's cracks in it. I don't know how deep those cracks go. See? Crack. Crack, crack. I think it's. I think it will be okay. Maybe I'll flip it back over. But this, what I want to do, actually, like I said, this is a Jordy video. Jordy does video. See how I carve that face out really quickly? It's just a silhouette of a face. And I burnt it. 
and then tried to get the grain to pop, but it wouldn't because it was tight grain and it's edge grain too, most of it. But that's what I want to do on this piece. Oh, I forgot to print them off. But I was thinking of doing like a screaming face in the wood, trapped in the wood. But I don't really have a reference picture. I guess I could look at my phone. But so that's what I want to do on this piece. Just a silhouette of a big face in there. It would be cool if I could make it like screaming, pretend like saran wraps, wrap, you got a plastic bag wrapped around your face, right? Maybe some fingertips in there, but I think that's maybe a little bit too advanced for me. I think I should just start off with the face. And the main thing for this face is try and get both sides to be equal. Like the same height of the eyebrows, the same height of the lips or the where the smile lines are that come off the nose. Like just try and make it everything nice and equal before if I do any wood burning today. Because that Shosugi ban is, takes a lot of work and it's a friggin' mess. Carry on, carry on, carry on. So I know sometimes I jump ahead when I'm talking about going to Frank's house. Did I say that I'm going to take my chainsaws there and my power tools? We're going to do some carving. Frank's an artist too, so maybe he could try his hand at the chainsaws. I know he'll be giving me ideas, telling me what to do. Just kidding. Um, so I skinned this, some of this wood here. I wasn't sure about the bottom, but you can see how dark it is. This cedar is the darkest cedar. Wow, it's so dark. It doesn't even feel wet. There's a spit test how much darker it goes. So. I don't know if I'm going to do a screaming face or uh, just a uh, face. But what you got to do. I wish I had my reference pictures here. But I think. Uh, like the. Uh, I'm going to try and do it. Uh, I think that Rex, it's got the YouTube channel, he's talking about face scales. So it's like one, two, three. I don't want this to be a small face in here. I want this to be a big face. I'm going to have two different size pens. And it's so hard to do when you're in video. To try and be center. So his forehead can be here. So we'll just do it square right now. I learned this from Kevin at Six and Stones. There's three cuts, like three planes to the head. One, two, three. So if we do our ice there. I don't know where the starting point would be. So there's one. There's two, and there's three for the jawbone. One, two, three for the jawbone. So his nose, I'm going to make the nose extra, extra bigger. And you got, I might not even, the, the reason why I want to show Susie Ban this, show Susie Ban, whatever you call it, it's because if I don't, then you got to sand it like crazy to get the details of the grain coming out. But if you so sue, you ban it, it doesn't take that much work to clean it up with the, well, it does take a lot of work, but. So if I'm going to do show Susie Dan, you guys know what that is, burning the wood really deep. So when you burn the wood really deep, you lose, you lose wood and things move around. Some parts of the wood burn better than the others. So we're going to start off this guy with a thicker nose. Then his, this is where I'm going to. Struggling with the screaming jaw because I don't have a picture to look at. 
So but what I think I'm going to do now is cut the eyes out, cut the forehead in. I forgot my earbuds at home, so I don't know if I should. I'm, I won't do a time lapse on this. I'm going to use my little Echo 2511. Everybody, uh, chaps, I'm not, um, put your chaps on, ear protection, eye protection. I don't have my earbuds, so I got earplugs to put in. Okay, so maybe I'll just do a time lapse. Like I said, this video might be an hour or two long. Don't care. It's Jordy does so. Maybe I'll just do a time lapse here. See, another thing too I should say before I get going. So, like I'm learning here. So I expect to fail. Well, I don't ex Okay. I'm learning here. So I will accept to fail. But I'm going to try my best not to fail. Exception of failing is a learning process. If that makes sense. Anyways. time carving that was about as slow as, as I could carve with a chainsaw I'm just trying to when I'm at my carving tent or even you know what it's true even when I'm at my Dremel table I would be a lot better of a carver if sometimes I just took my friggin time and that's the truth trying to rush everything does not help you learn I speak for myself. So I don't know if this is going to be a screaming in the wood guy. I don't think so because, well, I should try and practice because why I don't think so, because this is a pretty big scale wood spirit. Not that big, but it's getting up there. And now we struggle with the bigger, this isn't the wood spirit. This is just an Indian face or a face in the wood. But why? screaming face because well I probably could do it but it won't look like what I want it to look like so I'm gonna try and carve that face like that guy over there just try and do a little bit of a better job so the scale that that Rex said I think he said it's so it's three scales so we'll do one here one here so you can see his nose is long so it's off scale now and the one here to the bottom of the jaw so I'll say the bottom of his jaw is right here. Now I haven't cut in a lot of I haven't cut in a lot of jaws. I do, you know it's kind of I haven't done that a lot. So it's just learning. Basically. So I'm gonna finish my break here. And then I guess I'll try and cut in this guy's jaw. Here's that big pen. Like, yeah, I'm smoking. Sorry, everybody, if you think I shouldn't smoke on my videos. So the face lines come down here. Then... What I'm going to do is I'm going to block it out big with my chainsaw. And I told myself before I started this carving, I'm going to do the fine, lots of fine detailing with my die grinder. So I can sit there. Yeah, it's friggin' dusty. When you use your die grinder, it's friggin' dusty. I'll put my helmet on and um, figure it out. Okay, so I got this kind of reference guide on my phone. I'll have set up over there, and I'll be looking at it when I'm doing it. And if I get in, I'm going to be sitting in my chair. If I get in front of the screen while I'm doing this, I'm sorry, but I have to kind of be centered of the piece. 
So let's see if I can bring the camera over more on the cider view. And I'll speed it up too. You know, this stuff probably bores lots of you.
always get a real eye picture of it from when I look at it on the camera. So his face is kind of wide. I raised that uh, eyebrow there on purpose just to give it something like different textures on the piece. Um, what can I do? I can see that if you look at that eyebrow, it looks like that side of the face is a bit wider than that side. But that's from looking at it on camera. I think I'm going to be done with my chainsaw for now, and I'm going to pull out my die grinder. I'm going to really work on that forehead. Um, yeah, I got to make it. I'm not going to film for this part of it. I'm just going to, so I can really concentrate. You guys know, you guys have die grinders, you cart chainsaw carvers or Fordhams. Sometimes I need it to be totally square of the piece to concentrate. I got to make the head nice and shaped. And I got to make, one other thing I really look at is the nostrils. Make sure they're the same height right here. This one's, I kind of messed this one up a bit, so now I have to correct it with this one and smooth everything out. Let's see if I can give you a side view. Probably not. Well, let me take my camera off the tripod. So I can push those eyebrows down back a bit farther. But I think that's not bad for me for just chainsaw. Just taking my time and uh, really clean up with the die grinder. So how about I do that so I can blare some music. I'm going to have a smoke, have some coffee. I'll do that and then I'll be back. All right. So this was challenging. Say, Jordy, why was it challenging? Well, it was challenging because I'm learning. It's challenging because I'm taking my time. It's challenging because... The wood back here is a big, huge crack and a big, huge chip off the face. And it's getting super cracky back here. It's challenging when you're trying to uh, teach yourself. So what happened, I don't know how it happened. Remember what I said in thirds? I think that's the way it goes. Let's give you a wider view here. So you got one here, then you got one here, then you got one here. So what happened is the lip got lowered too much, like the mouth got lowered too much. Now the jaw should be right about, the bottom of the jaw should be right, well, bottom of the jaw should be right about here, and the lip should be up higher. Now it looks like a freaky kind of alien monkey man. But I don't care. I'm still, you still learn along the way. Subliminally, sub, what, what's the word? Subliminally, subliminal, you learn as you go. So you see this side has the bumps that I try to go for. But then this side, it just kind of kept on breaking apart there. So I'm not making any excuses. I'm trying my very best on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to burn it. I said maybe I won't burn this, but if you look at this grain down on the chin, I got to burn it. I got to burn it. And then after I'm done burning it, I'm going to clean it. I got a whole box of scotch bright here now. Yeah. After I'm done burning it, then I'll decide if I want to carve eyes and re-burn those eyes in there. Carry on. I'm going to do a time lapse burning it. Okay, so when you I'm burning it, you're going to see me with a water bottle. Because when because I, I shouldn't have carved those nostrils already in, and they're thin here on the walls. So when I when I see those uh, like with a hot, hot amber, I'll spray it with the water to make it not burn. Okay, I'll finish my break first.
Okay, so there's round one. Look at the grains. Super tight grains. Now, what I, I had to replace the scotch brake in my drill. So I knew this is a 3M. You buy this stuff on Amazon. It's in my Amazon store. You get like 30 pads of this. You're going to just put them on the ready rod on my drill like that. And that's a PVC pipe with a lock nut washer on the top and the bottom. So once I'm finished my break, I'm going to give this another round and try and get those colors to pop even more. And I'll do it live, like uh, real time. You guys see how much work I put into that? Man, this grain on this cedar is just crazy. Just carve Rob, remember you were telling me about the piece of, uh, piece of cedar I sent you? It was crazy to knife carve. Well, this is kind of the same kind of deal. Like, look at this grain here, and boom, all of a sudden it just stops there. Face grain edge grain and like you see those wrinkles in the wood that's the way the wood is that's the way the grains grew that's not from that scotch bright like these bumps in here that's not from the scotch bright and that's not from uh see those bumps let's see if we can give you a better see those that's not from scotch bright and that's not from my carving tools that's the way the wood is Man, now it looks freaking cool. Besides, besides, it looks like kind of an ape, but still, it, it looks cool, the grains. See those bumps in there? That's just the way the wood is. Super tight grain cedar. So, I really want to paint this face red with the tattoo ink or water, watered down red ink. I really want to, but I don't think I'm going to. Do I need to clean it? Oh, I think I need to clean it under there a bit more too. But like you see here, I couldn't clean that anymore. And same thing on the lip there too. It just stayed black. I like it. I think it's neat. You might not like it. I like it. So. I think. I got to clean up the rest of this wood on the outside. So I'm going to pull. I'm going to cut this crap off here with my chainsaw skim it off and then I'm going to pull out my uh, grinder with a sanding disc on it and make it bright. bright bright as it can go so then this piece will look really dark does that make sense I'll do that off camera you guys don't need to see that you know just like a grinder with a sanding disc on it anyways Jordy does. <laughs> I think this video's over. I'm out of coffee. Just kidding. I got a whole thermos full. <laughs> Hi, Liz. <laughs> so.
So this was fun. Just like uh, the more you do, the better you'll get. Sooner or later, I'll make it look like there's a face trying to come out of the wood. It's got to kind of open your mind to it. And, but first of all, I'm trying to figure out the, the structures of the face. Like so, one, two, three, whatever. I think that's it. And then there's the eyes go five across. So there's one here, one, two. Okay, so one, two, one, one, two. And I believe this is three. One, two, three. I think. So what next? I I don't know if you guys can see, but I put the uh, back here. I got the sign on the uh, the rock spirit for the spirit trails. So I'll show that at the end of the video and announce the winner. Uh, you got to give me a couple of weeks because I said I'd send you a wood spirit, but I still got to do some more dremel carving and finish some off. So let's pull this out of the way. I think I'm gonna. Oh the. Viking chair, yeah, man. I really want to paint. I really want to paint this thing red and yellow, because then you get orange in there. I think it would look cool, but I think it looks cool now the way it is. You know, if I leave this. This was a nasty piece of cedar. I'm lucky I pulled it off. Like it was beautiful first growth, tight grain, but just like it cut through, burned through down here and there's cracks all the way around it and splinters kept on falling off. Same with sanding this part. Pieces kept falling off. So it was, I think this was a good save. The, uh, no. Ow, oh, that hurt right on my toe. No, the friggin' the they say these are called Viking chairs. I did a video on this, I think, a couple days ago. They say these are called Viking chairs, but somebody left a comment on one of my videos. I read all the comments, and Buddy said, or I don't know if it was her, but they said that's is this thing recording? Let me make sure first. That's not a Viking chair. That maybe I was headless. Maybe you didn't see the head when I was standing there. That's not a Viking chair. This chair is originally from Africa, they said. Oh. It's only 11 10:30, 11 in the morning. They said this chair was originally from Africa for giving birth for the ladies. So, anyways, that's what they said. Don't know. It's like reading anything on Facebook or online. You don't know if it's the truth or not. But I say, I say right now, if this was a birth giving chair, the seat part would have to be a lot smaller. So, well. Uh, the baby could come out. So let me get this off, this thing off of here. And I'm gonna. My buddy Lawrence, I told the story, I believe I already said it looks like a friggin' banana. So I can fix that easy, even though this this is actually terrible cedar to carve. It's such wide grain. And when I say that, meaning um wide grain cedar, you get hard spots like the darker spots in the grains a lot harder so you'll carve you'll hit it and then you'll ah, dig in like a piece of foam so but how about i uh fix this banana moon Will that be too high No, I can start here. I did uh, some moons a while back when I, when I was really kind of doing lots of Dremel carving and Fordham carving. Almost before I started doing chainsaw carvings. I did some moons 
that had an eagle head going this way and an eagle head going that way. So that's what I'm going to do. Curve a couple eagle heads on it. I don't care. I got nothing better to do. I don't think I'm going to film. I'll just get this done. And if I still got some energy after, I will uh, carve something else. Carve a mushroom or something. Look at that. Uh, I got some. Uh, I got a birch. I've got a birch log out here. And it's spalted. I don't know if this one's spalted or not. But, well, that one's cracked. Yeah, it's cracked because it was spalting there. Yeah, you can see it's punky in there. See it's soft. So, I don't know about that. I'll probably have to carve a wood spirit on this another day. It, it's basically, this is basically a useless piece of wood. To carve unless you want to carve a wood spirit or something on it oh one other thing that i was thinking about last night when i couldn't sleep i'm a, i got these slabs i'll put my foot there so you can see how thick some re reference <sighs> i was kind of thinking about carving myself uh outdoor rocking chair like a big king's chair out of these slabs just using screws and stuff like that I got enough of them they're supposed to be for Christmas trees but anyways let, let me get to this carry on everybody carry on like these aren't going to be crazy detailed eagle heads they're just going to be kind of like my old school ones kind of a native style so here's your beak here I always like my beaks to be square at the ends. And your eye here. Right there. So let's just basically be like that. And then I'll curve this lower and I'll put some textures in there. So you see the eagle head in there? This is the head. Here's your eye. And then here's your beak. That's all. Okay, never mind. I'm going to film, but uh, if I get in front of the screen, don't get mad at me. I'll start off with the Cutsall Extreme Flame Burr.
got a switch purse. It's kind of a funny looking eagle, but. Okay, so here's a cut saw taper, Bert. Uh, the silver one.
Okay, so there's one done. I don't know. Kind of looks like an eagle to me. Might look like a parrot. It doesn't matter. At least, uh, at least doesn't look like a banana. Now I'll do the other one. There they go. Hear all those birds? Pooping and shitting everywhere. In the, uh, I think it's like springtime or fall time. These, this is a holly tree. These berries go orange. They eat the orange berries. They shit all over my car. Anyways. It's a blackberry break. <sighs> what time is it? Who cares? <laughs> so, there's that done. It's not such a banana anymore, is it? But yeah. They're kind of silly eagle heads, but they're eagle heads. Or fire, fire, uh, what are thunderbirds? Bet you Spike knows what that symbol means. You got the J on there. It means warrior. So that's, be that's a lot better now. I'm happy with that. I also uh, cut the bottom out there and burnt it a bit. So that's that. Now what's next? <sighs> I still got to reveal the winner. I am kind of getting tired, but I got these twin owls here under this tarp. And they probably should get done sooner or later. I didn't finish them because the cedar was soaking wet. This is like super duper first growth old cedar. And it was a bunch of cracks. Look at all those spider webs in there, man. For the baby eggs. But uh, it was cracking lots, see? I like these little hooters. So, but you see all the cracks in the cedar? My original plan was to uh, just make this nice and smooth. All this wood here, like, sand it super smooth, but I don't know what those cracks, I know I can hide those cracks better when I carve in, carve rocks in there. But I'm gonna pull this thing into the, first, that's a wolf spider nest right there. Look at that, watch this. Yeah, there's a wolf spider nest for sure. Where's the long stick? It's got a little trap door there. Look. Ooh. Just one. The stick long enough. See that trap door in there? Watch this. this Oh, I was that a spider? Fuck, I hate spiders. I fucking hate spiders. I don't know where that wolf spider is, but it's in there somewhere. Anyways, I'm going to get my blower out here, blow this off, and bring it to the shop, maybe. I can uh, do something, something. Oh, yeah. There's a big old, I don't know how big it is, but I see a wolf spider hiding inside there. Try to turn the flash on actually. Flash is on, but you'll see it. Whoa! 
not that big, but still. Oh! Ah! Go away, little buddy. You're gonna lose your eggs. You gotta get out of here. Get off of there. Get, get. Get off that tarp. Look at that. Ah! Ah! Okay, I'll leave the spider be. He just lost his eggs and stuff, so she just lost her eggs, so. Poor little spider. Anyways. What I should do when it's down, I don't have my microphone turned on, but what I should do when it's down here, I'm going to get my chainsaw and cut off all this shitty gray wood. So I'll get that done, then I'll get it into the shop. But this is a good uh, uh, forklift because you can see it be, can be like a forklift. Anyways. It's attacking. Look at it. It's attacking it. Get out of here.
So I think that's going to be a wrap for today. It's uh, 12.30. And uh, I'm pretty tired. I don't like using chainsaws when I'm tired like this, like with no sleep. You know, it was good when I first got here. I had lots of energy, but now I can feel that I'm perma-tired. So I'll finish this uh, tomorrow or the next day. Um, yeah, it was a fun day. We did this one. I can always see that I always have a problem taking the cheeks too thin. They look a lot like the... I always go too thin down here. It looks thinner. I watched, I, I looked at it on the camera and it looked a little bit thinner than it actually is. So like, it's just practice. And then the bench is fixed up. I can uh, go bug my buddy Lawrence. Thanks for watching everybody. I really appreciate it. And um, this piece has cracks everywhere. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Look at this. This whole piece is going to. That whole piece is gonna come off. Let me get a, let me get a, no, forget it. I'll do it tomorrow. This whole piece is gonna, I'm gonna get a wedge, bang that off. That's just gonna come right out. But so I think I'm gonna try and hide the cracks. Might even carve a big wood spirit in here. I'd love to hear what you guys, well, by the time you guys see this video, um, I'm gonna have this carved, so. Um, oh, yeah, we got to do the big uh, winner for the the stone thing for the spirit trails. I said whoever picks a name for it will win at Jordy Johnson Carving Fusion Wood Spirit. And somebody picked a name. So what we're going to have to do is announce the winner. Uh, like three people picked this name. Three people picked it. But I chose the first person that said it was the winner. My things on uh, YouTube have been all weird. I can't, I can't really see the people's names. All I see is their emails. So I don't really know who's who. When I go to read the comments, I read the people's emails. I don't read their names, their YouTube names or something. But anyways, here's what it says. Let me make sure you see it on screen. Spirit of those stone. Spirit of Thou Stone. It was uh, Spirit of the Stone, but I said Thou. Like more Lords of the Ring kind of thing. Spirit of the sto Thou Stone. And the big winner is Mark Decker. Mark, I think you've been around for a long time. I don't know. Like I said, I get confused with the emails. I don't see people's names like I used to. Mark Decker is the winner. He was the first one to say Spirit of the Stones. I just changed though. And I also carved um, Give Take. So you give a rock, you take a rock. Well, I should say, should say take, give. You take a rock, you put a rock. There was lots of cool names. Thanks, everybody, for, uh, for giving me the ideas of names. But I thought like a Spirit of those Stones, Spirit of the Stones is simple for kids to understand. If that kind of makes sense. So that's it. I got this uh, screwed in. Like, I got 10 screws in here. Like, this long. So this thing's never going to come off. And uh, sooner or later, I'll get it in the spirit trails. So Mark Decker. You got to send me an email at Canadian One Dude. Canadian, not the word. The number. Canadian One dude at gmail.com i've had that gmail since gmail opened maybe i should change it i get so much spam emails every day i get like 70 to 100 spam emails every day and i gotta look through my spam spam i gotta look through the spam because sometimes you guys is con guys email me and your those emails are in the spam so that's it 
Let me get the camera off the tripod. Spirit of the stone. Give and take. So kids can put rocks there. Oh, also, I don't know if I showed you guys. I, I hold out the eyes so they can put little rocks in the eyes. And they can put rocks in the mouth. Put rocks there. Put rocks there. I got drain holes everywhere. I got drain holes. Right, I got a hole right there. Drain hole. Um, two holes down there. One, two. So no water can pile up. This, the water will just run down here. So that's it. Take another look at this banana eagle head birth giving chair. These owls I gotta I gotta do. I might come back tomorrow. I, I'm not too tired, but just mentally tired. I mean they're cute little owls. You see, I made one like a fluff owl. So if the wings are on the side, it's looking at you. And then one with the side wing. And this is first growth red cedar. And there's this guy. I'm taking this home with me right now. He's going in my front yard. Yep. That's it, everybody. We will see you on the next one. Mark Decker. You got to email me, man. I'm going to make you a wood spirit.